Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Matic Network Polygon daily update. So let's see where are we going if we can break above the 1.17 Tether USD. Before we begin, join our monthly subscription guys to get easy profits. Link is in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You get automated signal buying opportunities, personal guidance, educational videos and many many more so join in before it is too late because only 50 people can join in guys i don't have time for more and of course you can join our telegram group chat link is in the description down below as well we have beautiful people there and we help each other every every day hit the like button and subscribe if you like the content thank you so much for watching let's go now to 1.17 our resistance level you can see here that we can't seem to get past above we have the 1.22 to 23 as a price target that we hit almost at 29 soon you can see that we went even at 1.5 25 almost guys but we closed beyond right so we have the 1.32 around 32 to 33 as our major resistance levels and of course the 1.41 as our next price targets but we want eventually to just go above uh, some uh, huge important resistance levels first uh, for now, we are above the 50-day MA, guys, again, but uh, I hope that we can just eventually, maybe we can stay above the 50-day MA because you can see that every time we are going above the 50-day, we are correcting, uh, like here, for example, previously, guys, or here. Uh, I am sure that if we can stay above and uh, just uh, get rid of this curse, guys, it will be very, very good. Uh, let's go a little bit to the MACD because for the volume we don't have much to talk about it is decreasing a bit on the MACD we want just to surpass this resistance level right here if we just make a higher low right there and a higher high it will be very very good the blue line has to stay above the signal line even though guys when we're having bearish correct bearish crosses like this for example or like here let's say this is due to the Komo channel index being over uh, 100 in the 4 hour frame or the stochastic our side right so therefore this is nothing to worry about the bearish crosses happen all the time on the MACD on the 4 hour frame it's just part of how the cycle is in the cryptocurrency market and uh, we are going into some uh, sometimes we are going into risk moments other times we are going into a buying opportunity let's go now to see the risk metrics now that we talked about you can see that we had a, a very very huge uh, risk here right here we went almost above the 100 in a normal market guys this is uh, a risk right because uh, when you go above the four at uh, the 100 the four hour frame on the commodity channel index we usually go a little bit down but what we want to see right here is that we want to keep the higher low pattern following and not falling down furthermore maybe stopping around there and just continue our way upwards right we don't want to go down further down you will see that on the four hour frame this is what we want to do also higher lows here and of course maybe if we can just go and surpass this major resistance level right there right we need just to surpass this resistance level right here and we need to go all the way upwards according to the stochastic RSI we have an overbought situation right now so therefore for matic usdt chart guys it is a very very likely that we see some sort of correction but we have the four the 20 day may crossing the fifth day may that's good right here guys we just want some further distance between those lines in order to assure that we can go upwards because uh the 20 day may needs to go above and we need some further distance from the 20 day exponential moving average and the 50 day exponential moving average let's go to the daily frame on the bulger bands to see that we are in the middle we don't have a risk yet we don't have a selling opportunity or a buying opportunity right we are still in the middle guys nothing changed right here on the stochastic side we are in an overbought situation on the daily frame and for the commodity channel index we can grow more we are hoping that we can get further further above and we go near the 100 mark because if we do that guys then we can go and test the 1.22 to 23 around there again okay so for the RSI 
As you can see on the daily, it doesn't look good on the daily. We are just forming this lower high, lower low pattern. If we go above this right here resistance level, then yes, things might change. But for now, they are staying like they are. Okay, so if we are having lower lows and uh, lower highs, and especially we are having a descending wedge for the RSI. Uh, I, I wouldn't want if we go down to 30, but uh, it might happen, guys. We might go down to 30 on the midterm, so we could be, so we should be careful. And on the MACD, we had a nice bullish cross right here, but we don't have the strength needed yet, the blue line to go above the signal line. We want more strength for the MACD because even though we had a bullish cross uh, from quite some time right now, guys, for quite some time right now. Even if we have the bullish cross, we need just some further distance. But okay, I will just say that it is good. It is good, right? But uh, definitely we need more. We need more right there. Let's see the SL hybrid in case we have any buying opportunity right now. We had here a buying opportunity. We don't have a selling opportunity yet. And now we are going upwards all the way for the SSL hybrid. We had there a buying opportunity, right? So let's go now and move to Matic Bitcoin chart. You can see something beautiful right here. We are about to have a bullish cross on the 20 DMA and the 50 DMA. We are going a little bit upwards, but in overall, guys, we are just having an overbought situation right here on the Komo Channel Index. So we should be careful. The RSI is going upwards with higher lows. As you can see here, it is a little bit cute. It is going upwards, higher lows, higher highs, uh, steadily but surely going a little bit upwards. We don't want to see a, a cross like this, right? This will be catastrophic for Matic Bitcoin chart. We just want to keep going upwards all the way till we reach in the RSI and overbought situation for the Matic Bitcoin chart. This will mean, guys, that we can still uh, a little bit outperform Bitcoin because you can see now we are a little bit outperforming Bitcoin. We want this bullish cross right here for the 20 DMA and the 50 DMA. And of course, we need some further action. We need Matic to outperform Bitcoin. It is so, so important, guys. And let's go to the daily frame. On the daily frame, we don't want to see this bearish cross right here. Once we see a bearish cross right here, the 20 DMA going below the 50 DMA, then this will be catastrophic for Matic Bitcoin chart. This will mean that we might go even further down, right? We don't want to see that. We just want to see a huge pump up right here in order to avoid this cross, this bearish cross right there. Okay, so uh, the RSA, you can see that we are just getting lower lows and lower highs. We have, we have stabilized a bit right there. And what we are hoping for is to go even higher. Although we are not sure yet, we need just to cross upwards uh, many uh, resistance levels right here, for example, right for Matic Bitcoin chart. And you can see the stochastic RSI is a little bit in an overbought situation. The commodity channel index was in an oversold. And now what we are hoping for is maybe we can push up to the 100. We need that, guys. We need it so much to see Matic going to 1.23, right? Keep your smile, keep your positivity, guys. We can't make it, but we need to break some important resistance levels first. The 1.17, you can see 1.17.5. You can see it is very, very significant uh, resistance level, very strong resistance level for now, because we went uh, here like one, almost one, two, three times now. And we want to see eventually if we can go upwards. We depend a lot on Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is looking like uh, it's looking good, actually. But for the moment, we just want to see whether we can surpass this triangle right here and have a breakout above the 35,600. If this happens, it would be very, very good. For now, we are staying cautiously optimistic for Bitcoin. But because we depend a lot on Bitcoin, guys, if Bitcoin can have another sink high above the 36,500, then it will be very, very good for Matic. This will mean, guys, that if we keep outperforming a little bit the, uh, the, the Bitcoin, then we can go upwards. We can go a little bit above the 1.17, above the 1.22 to 23, 
and maybe then we can go to our price targets we care so much for the 1.31 to 1.32 actually guys to 1.33 around there okay so uh, around this area right here we want this is our next price uh, target and in case guys we miss the 0.618 the 1.05 uh, support level but if we go down again to this level and go down then things won't be looking good but it is another story for now i don't want to get involved into bearish uh, things right there because uh, we are just uh going and retesting a higher target uh, 1.70 right tether usd and of course guys we are consolidating for quite some time right now you can see that we were from uh 2.70 to the uh to the 1.17 right and we just hope that we maybe can go above the 1.17 uh tables have turned we were into from an impulsive wave to a consolidation right now i believe for the long term guys it is a very very good buying opportunity uh and uh, that's why you shouldn't sell your coins even if you uh, just bought around here make your uh, make this wallet as your long-term investment because i believe that we will be getting uh, above the is right here for Matic although I don't promise you a $20 Matic or so I'm just saying that we will be getting in the long term above the previous levels for Matic so it will be very very good to do that and of course guys we need to go above the 1.17 1.22 to 23 for now we are still holding good although uh for matic bitcoin in the daily frame guys i don't want to see this bearish cross right here things uh have changed in this way in uh, in a little bit worse way in the uh, daily frame but on the four hour frame we want to see if we can get the bullish cross on the 20 day may and the 50 day may and go above now you can see we have a red a candle right here but in overall we are keep making some higher higher highs and higher lows you can see that and for the moment we are keep having the u letter right we are going up upwards for mark bitcoin chart it is very very important guys and it is also important to learn technical analysis and hold your future in your hands you can do it guys and of course i will be here to daily update if you want join our telegram group chat join our monthly subscription you can cancel anytime you want and of course join uh sorry hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are see you soon with many many more videos bye